My body has the right to exist and seen in a positive light. It took me a while to get here with continuous self-love work, so I'm not going to calm down to make you comfortable in the name of modesty. Hey, yummies! Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, be part of the Yummy Fam by clicking the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. To the returning subscribers, welcome back, my yummies. I really appreciate every single one of you. So, today, we're disturbing regular programming. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm uploading a video every single day until we reach 2K. So please go ahead and hashtag road to 2K. So if you want to hear what's this disturbing, distracting of regular programming, please stay tuned and let's go. <music> Because, as you can see from the title of this video, it's a bit, yeah. So, on the 22nd of July, <laughs> me, at Oyama Bota on Instagram, I had curated content that I'd seen from Nao, the international um influencer content creator model the fashionista all of it created this beautiful um picture which i'm gonna put up here and i was like oh my word this is absolutely beautiful and i had been wanting waist beads so i was like that's gonna be like bomb content for me to recreate and then she had posted that it was deleted and then she reposted i don't know how after how many days and then she actually even attached a picture showing that it was removed and that she put it back and it, nothing happened to it so we move and then that was it and then we move right so i was like okay cool uh, then it shouldn't be a problem when i do it as well so your girl went ahead and curated um content that is inspired by her picture and <laughs> I'm not even laughing like i was really sad about this like super duper sad um so on the 22nd of july i post a status i'm like guys at 6 p.m i'm going to be posting something really bomb um content really bomb and that's very necessary and it's very necessary because i mean like i said in the caption that our bodies have always not been seen in a positive artistic beautiful manner by any kind of um stage whether it's social media or society itself um and that for me is it's triggering to say the least because um it's one thing to experience it uh from a different point of view from other people and one thing to experience it yourself happening to you because I don't think I've ever had an experience that is like as blatant as this one. Because this one was a case of, listen, if you don't stop showing us your body, basically, that we, we're going to take repercussions and, you know, going to lack them. And I was sad, guys. I was just posting stories that day and it was not cute. Anyway, let me tell you what transpired. So at six o'clock... Uh, my people are excited. They're like, yay, where's the content? I pull up the content. I post the content at exactly um, 6 o'clock, right? How bunch? I think it was like two minutes after that. No, I posted it like at 8.10. Not 8.10, 6.10. At 10 past 6, basically. And exactly 12 minutes past 6 and six seconds later, your post has been removed for nudity or sexual activity. Where? Find the sexual activity. Where are the nipples here? Where are the nipples showing? 
I don't understand. I don't, I had so many questions. So I was like, nah, I mean, it's a mistake, you know. And you can review things that like you can submit reviews. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do that. I'm about to do that. So I submit the review, and there is literally no response from them, none whatsoever. And I was like, okay, maybe it just means I can post it again. So I wait. And I post it, I think, at around, um, I waited and I posted it maybe like at half past six. Yeah, I posted it at half past six. So, okay, cool. It got removed at like 12 minutes past six. Half past six, it's time. Put it back on. Hi, it stayed, hey? I was like, oh, okay, cool. No, then we're good to go. It stayed. Like, my people were commenting. People were loving it. They were sharing it. I even shared it on my status right because when i posted the first time people were like how oh, what happened and i was like guys i promise you i didn't remove it like and i was starting to think oh there's like judas in my followers because how how does that happen you know so i was like oh, maybe it's just an instagram thing and they just blagged it how hey <laughs> so i'm telling my followers i'm like no guys like i legit didn't remove it i don't know what happened um but i'm uploading it again so i upload it at half past six here it stays i'm like hi we're good to go like we're actually good to go it's fine now mm, where babes where at exactly i'm giving you receipts here at exactly 18 42 minutes and 26 seconds your post has been removed for nudity and sexual activity <laughs> hey, hey, hey find it please please find this thing that you're talking about i appeal again guys nothing happens i'm going on google i'm like like what's the process with this because i really don't get it like i actually am very perplexed by this so i was like okay uh by then i had shared it on my status as no i hadn't shared it i'm lying i just posted it again and they were like no babes it's not it i was like oh okay and i give up at this point i'm like i can't like i really i really cannot and at this point i'm like convinced that somebody reported it guys and in fact please comment down below and tell me what do you guys think like do you think it was a case of somebody um a hater reporting it uh because i was like why did it stay for the first time um for shorter period compared to the to the second time because clearly somebody was seeing it and then thinking oh let me report it again but again my thing is at the end of the day instagram still has a discretion to decide what is of sensitive nature to people because there's so many plastic surgery um nude pages why aren't they reported why aren't they uh if they are reported why don't they take them down and it's got me believing that it's because it's just because a person is of um a bigger size that they do this i was like how is it that our bodies are, can't be seen as art if um lack of a better word because um when smaller bodies are portrayed in such a manner uh, and it's a beautiful picture guys um as you see like in a bona must picture <laughs> um why is it that we have to try so hard every single time as um big people to be seen in a artistic positive way and this is why then body positivity is so important because it's seeking a positive light about ourselves it's saying hi well guys like all bodies deserve to be seen in a positive light um and it's lacking it's lacking and instagram is just enforcing the lack thereof uh body positivity because i got to experience it firsthand now this is where the juice comes in I go on Twitter, I'm like, guys, okay, cool. I, I blowed both the pictures that I took that day. And I'm like, well, Instagram won't allow me to be great. So it won't allow my body to exist. Here's a picture. Oh, here's the pictures. I'm just going to post them here. People love it. They share it. I screenshot it. And then I post the screenshot on my Instagram stories. Hey, hey. Here's the juice. And then I put a swipe up link and I'm like, guys, please go um, to Twitter rather. Hey, Chiggy Chiggy, my account, something is happening. Hey, and I have a page called Yummy Hearts and Curves, which most of you would know of. Um, 
which it's just an extension of my body positive work that I do. And I shared it there as well. And I was like, why is the pages, why are the pages not refreshing? Kanti, Instagram said flag again. Or some person said flag again. I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think this is. So I panic. I'm like, okay, what's this now? Eventually I log out of the accounts. And then when I get back in, they say, your account may be deleted. <laughs> I can't warning. <laughs> Guys, I wish I was making this thing up. Like, I honestly wish I was making this thing up. And I kid you not, as I logged back on and I saw that, I come across um, a post from the feminist um page which has reposted uh, some of my body positive work from the yummy hearts and curves page before is this picture not literally the same picture that i took even like down the torso even which shows way more than i do it was there nice and posted not reported not flagged nothing and i was like just because her body is smaller like how different does that make me from her like why is it that um there should be some some sort of um cognizance of oh people are going to be sensitive to to see this it's very sensitive content but then when it's a smaller body then it's like oh it's art yes embrace yourself i don't understand there's no consistency with how instagram is doing these um censorship stuff and I'm not happy about it and I was like I'm gonna share this and shed light to people about what's up because there's definitely double standards and they need to be exposed for that ah uh, yesterday I tried going online and going live am I not told that I can't <laughs> I was told, no, babes, you can't. You've basically been suspended from going live until a certain period of time. And I was like, yo, it was that deep. And when I look back at my caption, I'm just going to read it out loud to just emphasize the thoughts I was feeling then and why it's needed for us to embrace ourselves and in a in a way that everyone how do i even put it like there should be equal embracing of bodies and that is not happening that is really not happening and it's it's disheartening that you know when you're trying to push a narrative and you're trying to um show people that you know what you have your body has the right to exist and um mediums like these are telling you not nah, be mediums that allow the message to be pushed through are telling you no actually that's that's not it your body cannot and if you don't conform to us telling you that then we will threaten you and remove you from this platform my body has the right to exist and seen in a positive light it took me a while to get here with continuous self-love work, so I'm not going to calm down to make you comfortable in the name of modesty and in the name of your own convictions of modesty. You're probably not used to seeing bodies like mine in the media, especially being portrayed in a positive, arty and beautiful manner. So much so that you're shocked and you dismiss that shock under the name of be modest. I'm sensitive to this content. How? It's just the body. That was never my responsibility. And that being modesty was never my responsibility. I forgive you though. But it just means you just have to get comfortable seeing this a whole lot more often. And that was the caption. And I know it was it would have um, reached the people that it needed to reach in terms of um, people who needed that message uh, but it didn't so I, I went ahead and just posted it on Twitter and just hoped 
that it did um, reach the people that it was supposed to reach you know but yeah we're in a very weird age where we think that things are for us especially as a big people and things are actually very much against us and it's disheartening but you know what because i'm strong-willed i push on people know this my people know this on instagram um and they've been sending me very um lovely messages um okay anyway guys thank you so much for listening to me and keep sharing the message like keep sharing the body positive work and I hope this has shed light to how important it is that we are also seen and let it be a reminder that it's not just going to be this generation, it's not just going to be us, it's going to be future generations, the, the teens that are growing up, growing to hate themselves because they told, even not only by the media but by their parents by their families who hate fat people people just hate on big people and for me that makes absolutely no sense thank you guys for watching